Oh, it put me. Hello. Can you see me? Hello. Am I live? I got bags. Right. Should we do non fill a bag first? Right. So God. for one pound fifty I got some hand painted Portugal pottery. Um it's just like a fruit bowl. So go for about 15-ish quid. Um, I need a box. I'll check in there. Right, I got not two filler bags, just two bags of stuff. For three pounds, I got a load of vintage Christmassy baubles for three pounds. So there's five. Some bells. I've got 23 23 vintage Christmas decorations for three pounds. I don't think that's too bad. Um, hi, Anne. I'm off. Uh, it's my uh, cousin's birthday. We're having a barbecue. Uh, um, 12 ish. Uh, my total spend, Joan, was oh, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, eleven fifty, fourteen pound fifty. Um, yes, yeah, so, so I listed some uh yesterday. I got two vintage lots up yesterday, and then I saw these today, and I thought I might as well buy them because I know they're kind of worth a little bit. Is Lexi only Spanner? Sorry, uh, Bad Wolf. I'm in the wrong chat to Spanner people up. Uh, from Steve the Car Boot Guy. Is that damaged? Cracked? I don't know. That might be cracked. Um, for one pound fifty each, some little trays. I just grabbed them because they're really nice prints, and I know Carlos probably sat there going, uh, "Nice, uh, dice." Carla doesn't like stuff like this, but it's just like a nice floral one, and then that's very Japanese Asian style. Yeah, one pound fifty each, and they are by James, uh, James Kent Old uh, Foley, Foley, Foley. Yeah, one pound fifty each. Um, for a pound, I got a. Real Lever Wallet. I've sold this brand before. If you need to know where the branding is for them, it's on the popper clasp thing, this thing. So this one is P-R-Y-M, so Prim. Um, I've sold this before with a brand before for about 15-ish quid, and I paid a pound. So that's not too bad, and it's in quite a nice condition. It's a uh, real calf leather. Oh, my chat's always lovely, Lex. Um, Carla will be surprised. So, oh, Steve's wife charged me a pound for these, which are Pimpernel, and she obviously didn't realise. So I got a pound for some of the smaller placemats. And then <laughs> two pounds for the box ones. Obviously, she went, oh, Pimpernel. Probably not realising that. It's the exact same pattern, so that would be a little bundle for 20-ish quid, maybe. But that wasn't too bad. I think she was drunk, because if she'd opened the lid on these, which she usually does when I buy them, she goes, oh, it's the same. Ooh. Um. Oh, and then there's this really weird vintage fairy as well that I got in the bubbles. Yeah, um, 
Debs, it depends on the pattern. The green one there, it's like, I think it's called like emerald green, the color pattern. That is probably the most popular. The rest are kind of meh. I've got loads of placements. I've got one, two, three lots of placements listed still at the moment. But the, the green ones sell quite well. I've sold them a few times. Hi, Lucy. And hi, Shirley. Right, this is filler bag stuff now. I'm only going to be quick, like I said. I got a gigantic rice bowl. Asian style rice bowl. I think this is restaurant wear because it's no marking. And this looks like the stuff you get in the Chinese restaurants. Um, so it's just be standard restaurant wear. It has some value, I believe. I haven't actually looked. But for filler bag, for free credit, it's probably worth throwing in anyway. Um, I got this for Lex's mum. I don't know if she would like it. Lex, for jam? So... Oh God, I can't even open it. It's one of those um, seal ones. Does she want this for jam or something? Chutney? If not, I'll keep it. Let me know. A gigantic bag of Thomas. I had a quick look. I think it's my first Thomas track. Um... There's probably 30 or 40 bits here. I'll get about 10, 15 pound for it. Chutney, ch chutney. I say it with a K, you know I say it with a K. We've done this before. Chutney, um, I, obviously in filler bag, it's probably costing me about 50p, um, about 10 to 15-ish quid for it. It doesn't sell for a lot and I thought it would. Um, I only grabbed it at the time because it's stamped Thomas 2016 Thomas Limited Mattel. So it's a Mattel one. Sure, uh, sure, Lainey. Um, I have to. I saw your video on it, and I just need to have a little look at what what's happening on it. You're all good. No problem. Um, I will keep it for me for Lego or something. In filler bag, I got some Playmobil, um, a little carry case, and it's got. A little, um, what is it? Ha rabbit? There with. I don't even know if the thing's here. I don't even look. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a little rabbit family. So I got a complete Playmobil rabbit family set. Yeah, comes with a person, a carrot. Um, I don't know if I have the carrots. But for filler bag, a complete Playmobil set, I can't go wrong. Um, I got this, which looks very Art Deco. Is it Art Deco with all the lines and everything? And it's uh, a Macintosh Wren giftware. I don't know if that's anything special. I don't think it is. Uh, but yeah, just like the look of it. I grabbed these because they had a sticker on. It's K-R-O-S-N-O -O, Poland. Renny Macintosh. That, is that a good one then? But these have got little like etched flowers in them. And they're stamped with a sticker. No idea if they're any good. Oh, 10 to 12. That was good then. Um, but yeah, matching pair. Um, a bit of a whim, I got Glenmere Bridge near Cork. And on the back it says, uh, something galleries, antique, antiquarian booksellers. This is a genuine antique engraving, guaranteed over 100 years old. So if it's over 100 years old, I thought I would grab it, but... We'll see if it's worth anything. Probably not. Uh, I got this for mum, but I'll see if it's got any value in it before I give it to her. Um, it's a really heavy traditional loaf pan, loaf dish. Really, really sturdy, high quality. Um, these can be quite expensive. Art Deco or Art Nouveau? I don't know. It's one of them.
Oh. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, no, it's definitely Art Deco. Art Nouveau is slightly different. Oh, Carla says Art Nouveau. Hmm. Hi, Karen. Strictly arts and craft, arts nouveau. Okay. Um, one of these, I don't know what they're called, drop bud vases, bubble bud vases. Probably not worth anything. It's a mug, exactly, Carla. It's a mug. I got this, which at the time was like, oh, that looks interesting, but now I'm not too sure. It's to measure liquid in weight. No idea if it's worth anything, but for filler bag, I whacked it in. It's a uh, Master Chef Gourmet Lime. So I don't know if that's the actual Master Chef. Yeah, little compact measuring jug with scales. Oh, and there's a lid as well. Is that the lid for it? Not sure. I got these because they just reminded me of Andrea for some reason. Like burlap. Is it burlap wrapped? Reed wrapped or something? I got five of them. We'll see. I got a teeny tiny Kong for some reason. I don't know why. For the cat, maybe. No idea. I just threw it in. Nouveau and Arts and Crafts. Okay, that's interesting. I got some saucers. I got two of each design. This one is a Anchor China Bridgewood. And this one is a uh, fine porcelain china Diane Japan. And what I do with these is I just bundle about eight saucers together in little arts and craft bundles for about ten pounds, and they're filler bags, so it costs me basically nothing to do anyway. Um, I only grab the nicer looking um, saucers, and they have to be kind of old, so nothing modern. Um, people turn them into cake stands, so they would sort of have like a cake stand like tiered effect like that. I got some random clip on earrings to go in a bundle and a teeny tiny bit of Lego. It's just in a box and that'll go into like a kilo drop lot I'm building. Oh, I did a, a bit of a car in. I've got a load of wads of scrap fabric. Now it's only polyester. It's only, um, well, that's cotton. It looks moldy. That could be possibly be mold. So that would go in the bin or washed. But yeah, I've got like a big wad of white, uh, like a lilac, um, purple. But yeah, they're proper. I don't know how big they are. Massive, apparently. So I'll just sell that as scrap bulk wads of fabric. Um, there's an even more horrible feeling one there. There's a bit of red, like a uh, wine red, and a blue. No idea, but someone might want to buy some half meters. Could be half meters car, and they're massive. It's not um, a yard, not a yard. Is it yard? Say, how do they sell it in America? Is it by the yard? But yeah, they're huge. So I just bundle them up. They're only polyester, so not really worth anything, probably. But when you're filling a bag, you just whack anything in, don't you? Um, I got a fat quarter. That's it, Lex. Yeah, I don't think they're fat quarters. I think they're meters. Lining material. Could be lining material. It definitely feels tacky. I got this because I thought it was really cute. It's little penguins. 
the little rock hopper penguins. It's a little um, makeup bag or overnight bag. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably keep it for something for me. I just thought it was really cute. Um, someone tell me these are worth a lot of money. I seem to think they are, but I'm probably wrong. It's a stencil pattern for one of those machines where you like roll it through and it prints stuff like, like a cricket, I think, if you know what they are. EAZI embossing mandala. Oh, I keep dis disconnecting, so I'll try and be quick. Okay, now I'm ending, apparently. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's back. I'm back, and apparently the broadcast didn't end. Bye!